let's go over the different types of congenital heart defects. First up is tetralogy of flow. With this, you're going to have four abnormalities. Remember the word wraps, right ventricular enlargement, aorta displacement, pulmonary stenosis, and septal defect, particularly a ventricular one. With this, patients are going to have tet spells, which is where they become cyanotic. To help relieve those spells, remember the knee to chest position. Next is ventricular septal defect. With this, there is a hole in between the wall of the right and left ventricle. Remember the word hole. The patient's going to have heart failure and pulmonary hypertension, often has lung infections, low growth rate and weight, and extra heart sounds can be heard. Then there's atrial septal defect, which is similar to a ventricular septal defect, but there's a hole in between the right and left atrium. There's the same risk as VSD, however you want to watch out for stroke, and a mid-systolic murmur at the second intercostal space at the upper left sternal border. Next up is transposition of the gray arteries. Here we have two big arteries that have been swapped, the aorta and the pulmonary artery. So remember the word swap. The patient's going to have severe cyanosis at birth, that's persistent. Watch the heart rate, rhythm, oxygen saturation, and respiratory rate. Alprostadil is given to keep open the ductus arteriosus until surgery can be performed. And then procedures to fix include a balloon, atrial septostomy, or an arterial switch. Aortic coartation is narrowing within the aorta. So before the narrowing, there's going to be high pressure, which can lead to heart failure. After the narrowing, the pressure will be low. Surgery can be performed to remove the narrow sections of the aorta and then reconnect the ends. This is usually done by two years old. However, later on, the patient may need a balloon angioplasty to reopen the artery if narrowing occurs again. And then lastly is patent ductus arteriosus. This is where the ductus arteriosus, which is normally present in the fetal heart, does not close after birth, and this increases pulmonary blood flow. Due to this, you're going to hear a continuous machinery-like murmur, and treatment includes endomethacin to close in some patients, but if that can't work, surgery can be performed. 